and welcome to Bottoms Down Chair Yoga for Everyone. I'm Therese. I'm glad you've joined our community. Check out the Bottoms Down YouTube channel homepage for easy access to videos about the body area you want to work on or the amount of time you have for your yoga practice. If you want to stay seated or if you want to stand, either one. If you haven't already, please click that subscribe button down below. Don't forget, it's free. And we'd love to hear from you, so leave a comment. In today's practice, we'll explore poses to improve weight loss. You'll need a chair and some light weights, three pounds or less. If you don't have weights, that's fine. You can use a water bottle or you can use a soup can if you want for weights. We're gonna start by warming up sitting back in your chair and doing some breath work practice. So close your eyes, calm, quiet your mind, deepen your breath, slow down. So we're gonna work on chest or diaphragmatic full breath today. We're gonna to focus by starting to put our hands on our chest. And I want you to feel the chest moving as you breathe. So for most of us, this is what we use to breathe, is just the upper chest. Now go ahead and put your hands on your rib cage. And as you breathe, you should feel the rib cage expanding outward with your inhale and then contracting inward as you exhale. So allowing the air to move a little deeper into your lungs with this rib cage work. Finally, put your hands on your belly. So now we're going to add our abdominal muscles to assist the diaphragm with our breath. So chest, rib cage, and now belly expands outward as you inhale. And then everything contracts in as you exhale. So focusing on those three parts, bring your hands back to your thighs, chest, rib cage, belly, expanding out with your inhale, contracting in as you exhale. Do a couple more. Now move your feet under your knees and lift your back away from the back of the chair. Bring your hands to your knees. We're gonna move into seated cat cow. And I want you to still work on that deep breath as you add movement. So with your inhale, your, your chest is going to come forward, chin is lifting. And then as you exhale, the belly pulls back chest rounds down, chin moves into the chest. Breathing in, move forward, lift, exhale, curl back. Keep going. Last one. Come to center. Rising up, create your seated mountain pose. Ears above shoulders, shoulders above hips, long line. That's it. Put your hands back on your rib cage. We're going to move the rib cage around your hips circling. You can put your hands back on your thighs. 
Just feel that rib cage moving all the way around. And you're still moving with your breath. Exhale as you circle forward. Inhale as you circle back. That's it. And even if you want, you can add a little head circle. Let's reverse. Really nice work for the spine. Lubricating all of those joints, all of the vertebrae. Good. So let's go ahead and warm our feet up a little bit. We're going to lift the heels off the floor and then push the heels down and lift the toes off the floor. Inhale, heels lift. Exhale, toes lift. Breathing in and out. That's it. Lifting the heels, lifting the toes. Good. Now lift your heels and keep them high. Go ahead and just move your heels side to side. You can feel this a little bit in your hips. Like windshield wipers moving side to side. That's it. Heels up, lower down. Now scoot your hips forward all the way to the very front edge of your chair. Let's put our hands underneath our right thigh and pick that leg up. Sit up straight here. Circle the ankle. Big, slow circles. Reverse the circle. Good. Flex the foot and push the heel away, extending the knee. Do that again. Push, lift the knee and then extend. Inhale as you pull in. Exhale with your extension. Let's do one more. Extend and hold. Hold it here. Now see if you can leave your foot right there. And let go for three, two, one. Good. Pick up that same foot. And now this time I want you to hold on to your shin. And bring your back to the back of the chair. Pulling that knee close to your chest, getting that little bit deeper low back stretch. Good. Come back to sitting upright. Let's do the other leg. Picking up the thigh, start by sitting up straight, ankle circles. Take your time with these circles. They're not fast. Articulate the full range of motion of the ankle. Reversing. Good. Flex the foot. Push the heel away as you extend the knee. Inhale, pull in. Exhale, extend. Again, breathing in. Breathe out. Two more. Exhale. Last one. Extend and hold. Hold it. Hold it. Can you let go? Three, two, one. Whew. Now reach down, lifting the shin, holding under the shin, lifting the knee towards the chest. Lean back now. Oh, you just feel that nice stretch. Good. Good. Lower. Open your knees wide. Moving your feet wide. Bring your hands on the chair behind you. So you're shifting your weight into your hands just a little bit with your knees wide. And what we're going to do here is just move the knees side to side. So start by moving to the left. Exhale. Inhale to center. And then exhale to the right. 
and center. Exhale, inhale. That's it. Just feeling that little bit of hip mobility, inward rotation and outward rotation of your femur bone in the hip socket. Yeah. Couple more. Nice. Good. Feet move in. Let's grab a sip of water. Okay, let's grab our weights. And weights are optional. They just add a little more element of work, allowing for better weight loss, right? So we're going to start by doing a little leg work. Move your feet slightly behind your knees. Keep your hands by your sides to get started. Leaning forward, slowly standing up, inhaling, and then with your exhale, have a seat. Let's do that again. Rising up as you breathe in, as you breathe out lower. We're going to add on a little bit to this. Let's start by just lifting the arms overhead, breathing in. Exhale, slowly lower. Again, lifting up as you inhale. Exhale. Good. Let's do two more. Breathing in, lifting up. Exhale. All right, this time, you're not going to sit all the way down. You're going to hover above your chair right here, coming into chair pose. So make sure your hips are behind you, like you're going to sit down, but you're not. If you look down, you should be able to see your toes. You should feel your thighs working hard here. Let's bring our arms straight forward. We can stay here or lift the arms overhead. Lift your chin, look through your hands. Take three deep breaths right here. Woo, this is good work. One more breath. Nice, stand up, Woo. Open the arms, shake it out, and have a seat. Good. So let's move into a nice gate pose and abductor strengthener. We're going to sit on one side of your chair. So your left cheek is on the chair, your right cheek is off. Extend your right leg to the side that's so coming directly out from your hip. Look at that foot. Your, your toes need to be directly in front of your heel and you're rooting that foot down on the floor. If you wanna put your weights down for this, that's totally fine. Go ahead and put your right hand on your thigh. Lift your left arm up. On your next inhale, lift your rib cage up. Slide the right hand down the leg as you reach up and over. The weight just adds a little element of increasing the stretch. If it feels like too much, let go of the weight. Slowly lift up. Yes, now bring your left hand on the chair. Lean, let's go ahead and put this hand on our hip. You're leaning away from that extended leg and then you're gonna lift it up. Woo! Lift this arm up, hold it. Oh my goodness, that leg is heavy. Lift it up a little higher, hold for three, two, one, good. Let's do that again. Open wide, hand on thigh, left arm up. Inhale, reach up, rib cage, and then reach over. Deep breath. See if you can sink a little deeper this time. Rise up, 
Nice. Leg lifts, hand lifts. We're going to add on a little bit here if you want. Pull the elbow to the knee and extend. Good. Again, exhale, inhale, extend. Two more. Last one, pull in, extend, hold it, foot down. Good work. Let's do the other side. Scooting all the way over. Now your right cheek is on the chair, left cheek off. Left leg extending. Look at that foot. Get the toes in front of the heel, outside edge of the foot rooted down. Right arm overhead. Inhale. Rib cage lifts. Exhale, up and over. Oh, this feels good. Make sure you're really pushing down with that extended foot, extended leg for stability. Good. Let's open the arms. Moving slowly. Put your hand on your hip to start. Lift that leg up. And then maybe lifting the hand up. That's it. Hold it. Maybe lift the foot a little bit. Good. Lower. Arms open. One more time. Rib cage reaches up as you breathe in. And as you breathe out, up and over. Incredible side stretch. And inner thigh. So when we hold weights, we're using both, you know, your upper body and your lower body as you move into these positions. So it just intensifies the workout and assists with weight loss. Here we go. Elbow to knee. Exhale. Inhale. Push away. Bring it in. Extend. Do two more. Lengthen. Last one. Lengthen and hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Good. Ah, release. Good work. All right, one more. Let's go ahead and move into our seated warrior two. So again, getting on the front edge of your chair, open your left knee wide, and again, extend that right leg, rooting the outside edge of the foot into the floor, just like you did, and let's lift the arms. So go ahead and have the palms of your hands facing the front of the room. Your shoulders are above your hips. Your belly is lifted. Strong arms holding that weight. Yes. Press your left knee towards the back of the room to feel that little inner thigh stretch. Now let's put our right hand on our hip and lift the left arm up. Coming into our side warrior. Up and over. Another nice side stretch. Big breath in and out. Slowly come to center. Move the rib cage towards the left thigh and bring the elbow on the thigh. Let's lift the right arm straight up to the sky. So you're feeling that nice open chest, nice extension. If you want a little more, bring the hand in front of the leg and see if you can slide down a little bit closer to your thigh. This is more advanced, takes a little more flexibility, so it's perfectly fine to keep your elbow on your thigh, here or here. Good. One more big breath. Let's open back to our warrior two. Look over your left hand. Take three big breaths right here. Excellent. Release. Walk your feet in. Shake out. Let's do the other leg. Right leg opens. Left leg extends. You're on that front edge of the chair. Arms open. Strong. Turn your palms to face the front of the room. 
Feeling the weight in your arms. Oh, good strengthening work here. Okay, hand to thigh. Right arm up. Reach over. Lovely sun warrior. Good, stay with it. Slowly come back to center. That's it. And now the rib cage is moving towards that thigh. Bring your elbow down, left arm straight up, straight up. Nice open chest, nice lift. Staying here or increasing by sliding the hand towards the floor, keeping the chest open. Chest is moving towards the thigh. That's it, good, stay with it. Breathing. Here we go, coming back to center. Strong arms, look over your right hand and breathe, stay with it. Three more. Two. One, good, good. Walk your feet in. Oh, that was a good one. Shake it out. Good. Weights down. And let's grab a sip of water. It's time to cool down. So scoot forward on your chair. Let's just start by moving the arms. Let's start with one arm at a time. Big sweep back, inhaling and exhaling. And then the left arm, circle back. Keep going, breathing in and out. Inhale, exhale. Oh, nice shoulder roll, feels good. We're doing the backstroke here. Slow motion backstroke. Let's do one more each side. And now let's reverse. Reaching back. Inhale. Exhale. Circle forward. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Slowing the breath. One more each way. Good. Separate your feet a little bit. Bring your hands on the inside. Make a steeple with your index fingers. Let's just sweep forward and lift. Reach back. Come forward again, all the way forward. And then curl up to heart center. Do that again. Circle down, lift, open your heart. Big sweep forward again. Heart center. One more time. Inhale, lift. Exhale, reach back. Inhale, big circle. Exhale, good. Good. Walk your feet in. Let's take our right leg, cross it over the left ankle bone. So if you have any issues, keep this right foot flexed. If you can't quite get your foot on your thigh, you're going to keep your ankle bone on your shin. Finding the spot that works for you. Move your knee up and down a little bit, just to feel that little hip release. Press your knee down. Hand on ankle bone, breathe in, lengthen the torso. And then as you exhale, you're moving the chest forward, coming into a very intense outer thigh stretch. It's, it's to help with sciatic issues. Outer thigh into your glute, hope 
hopefully getting a little bit into that piriformis. Now as we move into intense stretches, the goal is to find that spot where you feel the deep stretch and you stay there and you breathe. And as you remain, you might feel a very subtle release and be able to deepen a little. We're going to change it up just a little bit. Keeping the torso forward like this, all I want you to do is shift your torso over your knee. So you're moving so that your chest is over that thigh. Ooh, just changing the focus of the stretch just a little bit. Move back to center. Now move your chest towards your foot. Keeping the back flat. Deep breath. Move back to center. See if you can sink a little deeper right here. Ah, I feel that release. Yeah, one more deep breath. Rise up. We're going to cross that right leg over the left so your thighs are together. Left hand crosses over the, to the right thigh. Bring the right hand behind you. Open the chest to the side of the room and look behind you, coming into a little bit deeper spinal twist. Let's go ahead and circle that ankle while we're here. Reverse. Good. Release. Nice and slow. And now let's do the other side. Left ankle bone, either on your shin or your thigh. Movement in the knee. Hand on knee, hand on ankle. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Oh, come forward. Oh, that feels good. And you're finding that spot where you feel, I mean, you're gonna feel stretch, right? But it should not be so painful that you have to hold your breath. Or sharp pain. Never sharp pain. If you feel sharp pain, you need to back off. You find that spot and you stay there. Breathe. Eventually, you'll feel the release. Ideally, you want to stay in these, these deep stretch positions for about a minute. Let's go ahead and shift our chest towards your knee. Shoulders are relaxed. Face is soft. No grimacing. Come back to center. Move your torso towards your foot. Mm. Slowly back to center. Can you sink deeper? Oh my goodness. Inhale, rise up. Let's cross all the way over. Right hand crosses over thigh, left hand behind. Nice open chest to the side of the room. Look behind you and circle the ankle. Reverse. 
reverse. Move back to center. Let's go ahead and circle the head again. Full circle, if it's available for you. If not, just do that semicircle from side to side. Reverse. Move to center. Hands at heart center. You're going to open, like, open your palms like you're look, reading a book. And then the backs of the hands move together, circling the fingers forward, around, and come back to heart center. Now reverse that. Open the book away from you. Backs of the hands together, circling through here. Do it again. Open the book towards you. Circle center. Open away. Good. Add your breath. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale. Circle as you exhale. Let's do one more each way. Sit back in your chair. Close your eyes. Coming into our final relaxation or meditation. Always starts with focusing on deep breathing. So moving back to that slow, deep breath. Quieting the mind, no outside thoughts. Keep your focus on your breath. Live at your highest level. Right now, allow strength to surge within you. Notice the power of confidence as it rises from deep inside and bursts through all your awareness. Feel enthusiasm gathering within and aiming you toward your best possibilities. Be energized by the courage that steadily streams out from your most profound purpose. Ride upon the newness of this moment as the miracle of life pervades your whole existence. Invigorate your most honest thoughts and transform them into valuable action. All the while, project a sincere and peaceful presence in what you do and in who you are. Engage in life with an endless reservoir of kindness and understanding. Embrace every opportunity for joy. Marvel at the beauty and wonder that surrounds you all the time. Let it all unfold naturally, generously, without worry or desperation. Give life your best and live at your highest level. Allow your breath to normalize now. That means that you're just breathing without effort, letting the air move in and out of its own accord. Lift your back away from the back of the chair. Move your hands to heart center. Let's bring our thumbs to our forehead to remind us to keep our thoughts positive, 
and encouraging. Move your hands to your thumbs to your lips, reminding us to keep our words positive and encouraging. Move your thumbs to your heart, reminding us to keep an open heart in all situations. Thank you. Namaste.